All right, welcome back to Future Utopia Island. This is Splatoon 3, and we got, I think, two more sites left to clear. You might hear a little bit of a, a lot of bit of knocking around because I have roofers that are working on the uh, roof. I caught myself uh, getting ready to record at like 7 o'clock a.m., and then these guys showed up at 7.30, and I was not made aware. <laughs> by the other people in the house. So I'm gonna work through that. And where is the pipe that I need? That pipe, that's the one we came on from stage. There we go, that's where this far away pipe that I need. So I believe um, what I've done in this area, oh, well, in the last part, in the last part we fought Shiver, which is part of Deep Cut, which is a uh, trio. And I guess professionally, they are, uh, they run a, I guess what, they want a broadcast show and they're musicians, but privately, like in the story mode, they, I guess they act as like marauders in the story mode and they, I don't know, they, they steal stuff. I don't quite know exactly what they do. They're trying to come after some, they're trying to go after some treasure that I guess we get in the way of. So, uh, they're banging now. I'll probably have to filter it out some way. Yeah, because that leads to site three, I believe. Yep. This one looks a little a little shorter. This looks like a waypoint. Okay. Uh I don't I don't think on first at first glance it didn't look like there were a whole lot of stages. Uh because these videos are gonna be shorter, I'm gonna spend less time on the overworld more time in the stages i will eventually clear everything out but you'll see me learn to reflect and this one is in the bank yeah you're gonna see less time of me talking in the overworld and more time of me talking hopefully in the stages so after this we only have one more stage and that one looks like it's a series of different spots that i probably have to jump to uh this one wants me to use the angle shooter to reach the goal in this mission you use the angle shooter to navigate through a series of obstacles and reach the goal and we'll check this out angle shooter okay oh oh oh, oh is this thing the the little tracker thing yeah this thing's interesting it acts as a uh Whenever an enemy crosses, <laughs> I'm making a lot of noise. Whenever an enemy crosses in front of this thing, it tracks them. Like how uh, you have like the point sensor, which acts as like a little bomb that you throw. It's a non-lethal non non bomb that you throw and it tracks anything that was in its radius. Shoot, let me try that again. There we go. This one's just a variation of that, so I can this. I think this is the first time they've had me using this. And I don't think I've bought any weapons that use this either. I guess this weapon is one of them, though. Ah, I'd rather not get a... Speaking of, well, not speaking of, but I see here that I'm wearing armor. I do have, like, the, um, can I throw that? You can, it damages people too. I didn't know that. But I have like the, I have the Callium Marie Amiibo. And I think I was looking on, um, I was looking at some website that shows all of the different, I guess, outfits that you can get if you scan Amiibos in. And they have Amiibos from the, from Splatoon 1, 2, and 3 now. I think the, at the time of this recording, the Splatoon 3 Amiibos are not out yet. One second. Okay, sorry about that. I had a slight disturbance, but um, those amiibo, I am like having a hard time focusing my. There we go. Yeah, that's what I need. Just a little using joystick. There we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I think the. There's some amiibo that came out that I, I guess, 
like I don't I'm not a big amiibo collector I think the most amount of amiibos I ever collected was for Super Smash Bros and you know that's how I needed to do I needed to hit this this little fish here to blow him up from behind um, I had some amiibo for Super Smash Bros I think for 3DS and Wii U but after that I didn't haven't really bought any other amiibo I think okay but one of the other ones that I bought that were not what am I doing here I gotta bounce it off of this let me shut up for a second and then off of, off of that okay and you want me to bounce it off the side again Oh, you want me to detonate it? Okay. Uh, no? How about now? Maybe my, maybe my orientation's a little off. Maybe I need to, I need to throw. Okay, there's the, there, there's where it is. Like I knew you, you gotta blow it up, but I was having a hard time figuring out the depth of like how far out that fish was, so I could know when to, when to blow it up. But um, I think of the few non Smash Bros related amiibo that I had, one of them was the Callie and Marie amiibo from Splatoon 2, because I think after after the Switch came out, I bought Splatoon 2 and I got really hooked on it. So um. I think the Cali one basically one of them unlocks the original like this hero outfit that I'm wearing right now one of those amiibo unlocks the original one from Splatoon 1 and the other one unlocks what I assume is the what am I bouncing off of do they want me to Oh. Okay, there's a switch. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, no, I, I'm doing it right. And then... Okay. Oh. And then that cheese. <laughs> and then you write this up. And then uh. No. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Messed up. It's a, it's a it's a it's a little chain of stuff that I gotta do. Take a sec, because I talk and I lose focus. So this is Gatling gun. Well, this is the most intricate stage I think we've had so far. Uh, I need to blow up those things. Okay, I think I need to rebound it off of the top. Okay, I think I, I think I understand. I gotta bounce it. Yeah. Okay. And then do the same thing for the small ones. This one. I gotta wait for it to loop around. Boy. A lot of noise. Am I am I doing this right? Ugh. Oh, 
Oh, I was doing it right. It's the sniper this time. Yeah, that's not going to work. Wait. Okay. Okay, that was a challenge. Because I'm not used to using this, uh, this sub weapon. I mean, you know, it's just it's something that gave you some more thought. You know? More thought is good. Learn to reflect, and this one is in the bank. Yeah, this is a thinking stage. Okay, so these stages are starting to take me a little longer to clear out. I'm going to just clear out a little bit of ooze. I do like to clear all of the ooze uh, on camera. So eventually, by the end, by the time we finish this area, I will have cleared out all of the ooze. I just want to spend less time talking and more time doing. Okay, so Cali, what, more eggs? Extra power eggs, okay, thank you. Yeah, so it's just a, just a trail of stages. And I see our next one right here. So, this. This is a compulsive collector's paradise. I know I'm gonna do some editing here. In this mission, you must collect all of the power eggs within the time limit. All power eggs. Okay, and they want me to do an ink brush. Ah, uh, this fast. I I still I still really like this hair color. Okay. What you got? All power eggs in the time limit. I got a minute ten. Wait. Okay, cool. Then let me take a look first. It was like, pa uh, it's Pac-Man? Kind of, sort of? It's Pac-Man inspired. So you got, uh, looks like the dead end is right in the center. Alright, I mean, you know, how hard could it be? I've played, I've played Pac-Man before. So, I probably should have paid attention to when these guys, when these guys were going to show up. chasing me oh oh I ain't oh oh I, I didn't pay attention oh. yikes oh there's one hidden here too Ooh. okay oh let me just squeeze past you buddy oh ah. it's not I should plan this better. Okay. So they they chase you in a weird way. Okay. Uh, okay, let's take another second. Because there was one, yeah, the one that's hidden like right there in the top right. That one, I didn't see that one. So. Uh, we can go. I'm trying to see if they have like set pathways, which I'm thinking they do until they see you and then when they see you then they follow you uh, so I mean it's pretty much uniformly the same thing so let's ign yeah like yeah like that thing saw me yeah that's what I want to avoid so we want to next time we want to avoid picking up these those ink tanks That was the first mistake. There's something down here. Yeah, let's avoid using up all of our stuff. Let's avoid using up all of our ink if we can. Okay, I think that's everything on this side. Chill for a second. We got, what we got, what we got, what we got. There's one. Oh, I got 30 seconds. Yeah, 
grab those two. I think I need to go down the center. Sit tight. 20 seconds? 10 seconds. Yeah, I missed this little guy right here. Is that everything? No, it's not. Okay, there we go. I missed two. Okay. A compulsive collector's paradise. <laughs> I like to, I, I do like to collect in in games. All right. I try to go for a hundred percent in games. Uh, if stuff gets like excessive to the point where it's like it's just there to be filler, then I don't go for it. Uh, proceed with caution. This is low vis, high risk. Before I do that, is all of the ink cleared out yeah we haven't gotten to the larger section yet after this I can probably do one more stage I think one more stage and then I can call it for this one this one looks foggy uh, this mission will test your innate sense of direction navigate through dense fog to reach the goal and I'm gonna use the 52 gal this is a weapon that I like using in multiplayer Okay, cut through the top and find the, oh, cut through the fog and find the goal. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> huh. A missile. Okay, so just assume that things are hazardous. So that's another. Hoping that thing wouldn't hit me. Let's just aim. Yeah, I like this weapon because it kills everything in like two shots. It's not the fastest weapon, but if you're accurate, if you're accurate, it'll it'll work. There's a stronger version of this that fires slower shots, but it kills. I think I think it like does more damage per shot. But it definitely fires slower. So you're firing all over the place. You're spraying, you're not gonna you're not gonna have a good time. Uh so I don't think it's really anything threatening in the fog, it's just low visibility. Okay. These little, these fat things. Oh, oh wow, yeah, you, oh, okay. Oh, oh. yeah, I'm not looking, <laughs> I'm not looking down. I gotta remember to look down. Okay. Never mind, I could have just shot it. <laughs> Feels like a parking garage. Anything around the corner? Huh? Okay. smaller secrets you know I've been talking about like not seeing any collectibles like tapes but I'm forgetting what the tapes because I only played the story mode in Splatoon 2 once uh, and I forgot what you use the tapes for um, oh you know what and there's actually just some stuff that I do need to look at that I I didn't do at the end of the last video which was to look at the alterna log and to upgrade my suit so I'll do that when I get back. Oh, whoa, okay. Whoa. Yeah, like, when you get, uh, when you get stuck in enemy ink, I feel like it's harder to move in this game than it was in the last 
Oh! oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's harder to move than it was in the last game. Like, unless you have the, like, the ink resistance skill. You know, I could take more stages like this. This kind of feels like, um, like PlayStation 1 era gameplay where you couldn't see more than like 10 or 15 feet in front of you. I'm like, I could, I could do more. I could do more of that. Yeah, that was, that was more fun than I, than I was expecting it to be.